Sam, what's the plan today? We are going to Katumba, do mountains. And is it rain? No, it's sunny. It's sunny, but little bit of rain. That is still manageable. What are you making today breakfast? Idli with chutney. Chutney mm. with chutney. Chutney with chutney. Day two. So now today we are going to Blue Mountains and I have a whole guide with me. Uh, we just came to know that in New South Wales, U-turn is not that popular. So until and unless there is a U-turn permitted board or there is a green signal for the U-turn specifically, you cannot take U-turn over here and I've read it on the Google after someone told me. Unlike Victoria, in Victoria you can take a U-turn unless there is a U-turn not permitted signal there. You can actually take that but here it's not so popular. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's day 2 of our Sydney adventure and today we are heading to the breathtaking Blue Mountain. But first, we are making a pit stop at stunning Wentworth Falls. We are here. We watched this Jemison lookout point. We have to walk towards here for Wentworth falls look out but where is the actual falls oh we have to go here and then here and then come back if you're not driving no worries you can catch a train right from parameter station to Wentworth falls station and it's a comfortable ride that takes around one hour The falls are a sight to behold, the cascading down into a deep pool below. We took a moment to soak in the views and the fresh mountain air. Now we are off to Katumba, the main town in the Blue Mountains. It's a place full of wonder with lush forests and dramatic cliffs. As we explored the Katumba Falls, a magnificent waterfall that plunges into the valley below. The views from the various lookouts were simply breathtaking. For those who love a good walk, there are several trails to choose from and I am mentioning them on the screen. So the Katumba Waterfalls is open till 11. Yeah. So you can also come here for a night walk. They have pretty much amazing track and they have lights so yeah if you are coming to this scenic tours and adventures do it first and then come here we didn't know so we try to cover it up before going to the scenic tour um now we'll go but we are hungry and someone recommended us a nice cafe i really have to look whether we need to take out our car or we can walk so the Yellow Delhi in Katumba is indeed a unique cafe with a story that extends beyond its menu and rustic decor. The cafe is operated by a community known as 12 tribes which has been surrounded by controversies. There have been reports and discussions about the group's practices and hence I have a mixed opinion about this place. <laughs> Wait, what did I take away? <laughs> Now it's time for the scenic world, the most awaited one. So we got our tickets and we got our wristbands and I'm excited. I'm gonna be on a cable bike. As we stepped into the scenic world and wow, it's like another world here. The ticket for a full day is around $80 per adult and let me tell you, it's worth every penny. This scenic railway is the world's steepest passenger railway. It's like a roller coaster that takes you down into lush Jemison Valley. The thrill of the descent is something you will never forget. We took scenic railway and we um, got this to a point where we can see three sisters Peak. Now we are taking a 15 minutes walk to this cable ride so we can complete this circuit this, this way. It will be easy. This 500 meter elevated broad walk is an easy <laughs> stroll that connects the railway and the cable station. 
It's like stepping back in time as we walk through the rainforest. So, if you take this uh, scenic walk instead of the cable car back to the main location, you will actually gain a lot of information about this place and trees and nature. They have these big uh, labels. Um, and then they give you information and they actually tell <laughs> No, I don't. I don't want. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> you are talking about the scenic walk, right? Scenic walk. Yeah, yeah. Just take a scenic walk. That's it. <laughs> then we took the scenic cable way. As we gently descend, we are surrounded by towering cliffs and spray of Kadumba Falls. It's peaceful journey and it contrasts beautifully with the excitement of the railway. Before going any further, I was so intrigued to take that cable ride once again. So me and Aman just hopped onto one another and here we go. Now it's time to scenic skyway. This ride offers a 360 degree view of the breathtaking Three Sisters and the vast valley below. It's like floating on air with the world unfolding beneath you. After reaching at the other side of the Jemison Valley, you can explore more beautiful views of the Blue Mountains. Spend some time there, take a quick trail towards all the lush green forests and then come back with the same cable car. Me and Aman decided to take a walk at the Jurassic Park in the scenic world. Why not? <laughs> Why should kids have all the fun? If you are coming here with your kids, you can become a junior ranger here. Yes, grab your guide and let's trek down over 25 dinosaur species. It's like a prehistoric scavenger hunt and we all are into it, doing it. And if your children has any dino questions, just ask the dino rangers. They are brainy branch who know all the dino secrets. Want to know why the T-Rex has such tiny arms? They have got the answers. Okay, the day ended and we had so much fun. Though this place is more commercial uh, as per my taste, but I had fun. So uh, if you're coming to Sydney, yes, Blue Mountain is a must must. Um, like, talk to anyone they will definitely recommend you to go to blue mountains but for me i guess i think we need to spend at least two to three days to actually enjoy the blue mountains until you are a like tourist person just watch some sunset and look out uh, some lookout points and have some adventure rides and that's all but if you are a traveler and explorer and you love to see places enjoy you should come here for at least two to three days like for me i came in the morning and going back in the evening was not enough was it enough for you no it wasn't it wasn't uh, but we are going with lots of memory and we are definitely gonna come back and we actually didn't see so many places around here but every place we need to walk hike and it was like two hours of hike so doing all of that in a single day is like uh, impossible right? Till then, keep traveling. Ta-da!